What's going on everybody? This is Jacob Amrell here. Today I wanted to talk about break even exits. If they're viable, how would you code a break even exit and should you even use them? So let's talk about break even exits and how they work. Essentially, when you have a stop loss for a trading system, usually it's you know a couple points or maybe a large amount of points below your initial entry or above your initial entry if you're going short. But there is a period of time where you may be in a green position, your unrealized profit is up, you're in a green position, and you might wanna move that stop loss to break even to protect your downside. So that's essentially what a break even is, and I'm gonna show you how to code it in the NinjaTrader platform. Now, I've already built a strategy with a break even exit using Stratgen. Stratgen is a tool I offer in my community where you can build and code strategies uh, automatically, and it'll actually code them for you automatically, I should say. Uh, but it's very easy to test multiple different uh, scenarios and different options when building and finding ideas for automated trading systems. You can see the links in the description below to get access to Stratgen. But I will uh, share my screen here and show you this trading system that I made that has a break even. So um, you'll notice on some of the exits here, I'll actually zoom in on this one. You can see that the stop loss, which is exactly horizontal, is a break even. It actually moved the stop loss to break even because it was up so much. So this system um, has a break-even weight profit of 80 ticks. So if this trade is any trade that's up 80 ticks, it will actually move the stop loss to break even. Now the normal stop loss is 120 ticks. And if you're up 80 ticks, it will move it to break even. This strategy was all uh, automatically generated using Stratgen. Um, and I wanted to show you that. We actually just added this feature of auto break even. So a lot of these trades, um, you'll see in the equity curve, it's, it, looks very flat for a while and it won't find or take a while to find you know highly profitable trades so this equity curve looks a little different than usual um that it's you know sort of very horizontal until it finds those big trades and that's happens because all those break evens are hitting you can see in a lot of these trades if i actually go to the trade list here and i sort by profit so it hits a stop loss once in a while but you can see a lot of the times keep scrolling down here you see all these stop losses where it's um, minus sixteen dollars. Th those are basically the break even. That's you know, break even plus you know one tick of slippage uh, trading S and P five hundred futures. So a lot of break evens here that is hitting, and this trading system is hitting those very often because it has no profit target. So it's just holding till the end of the day. It'll do very well in trending markets, but on non trending markets, it's either going to stop out or break even, right? So we can see this is like a period of time where break evens are good. When you have reversal days at least you're able to break even and not hit a stop loss down here. That's one of the benefits of break even. Okay, so let's go into the source code on what the break even looks like. This was all generated from Stratgen, but I will show you how to code your own break even exit signal. So if I go to the exit signals region here and I go to break even code here, I'll zoom in for you guys. I know it's hard to see. So here's our uh, region for our break even code. So let's explain what's going on. So it's first checking if we are not in a flat position. So we're either long or short. And our unrealized profit loss is greater than our break even amount. Okay, so our break even amount for that strategy was 80 ticks. Um, I tested different tick values and 80 ticks was the best. Um, so if we, are an or if we are in an unrealized position and we're up 80 ticks or more, right? That's what that is saying. And the break even has not triggered, right? So I have a Boolean, a flag to check that it hasn't been triggered yet. So if we're up 80 ticks and the break even hasn't triggered, we actually will call set stop loss again. And I call it twice because it depends if you're short or if you're long, uh, we'll call set stop loss twice. And it will set the price of your stop loss to your position average price. All right. And then I'll actually set break even trigger to true. So it doesn't call it again, duplicate times. All right. So in Ninja Trader, you can actually call set stop loss multiple times if you want to update your stop loss. And in this case, we are updating our stop loss to a break even price uh, if we are up a certain amount. Okay. That's usually how break evens work. Obviously, setting a break even as soon as you enter the trade doesn't really make sense. You would probably just exit immediately and you'll just lose money on you know slippage and commission. So you really only want to set a break even once you're up a certain amount. 
uh, to get it to that stop loss, okay? So that's how you would set a break even. Um, once again, I would test it for yourself. I have used this break even code before and it has worked, but I can't guarantee this will work all the time. So definitely test this for yourself on a SIM account for a long period of time before you run it live. But that's how you do a, a break even exit. So the next question you have, you may have is, all right, our break even is good. And you know, will they make more money than my other strategy? So um, I haven't looked at all my strategies, but I know my top five most profitable strategies do not use a break even. They simply have uh, a profit target stop loss. Some of them don't have a profit target, just a stop loss and they'll sell at the end of the day. So uh, I do have, I believe two strategies that use a break even and those strategies are pretty much flat right now. They're not losing a ton of money, but they're not making a ton of money. They're kind of, you know, just flat on the equity curve level. I would say, like I said, break evens are great for reversal days. If you're in a up position and then the market reverses against you, it's better to at least break even for a zero loss or you know a one tick loss than you know hitting your your stop loss. Uh, but break evens won't work well on trending markets where it will come back to break even and then continue in your direction because uh, then now you'll be out of a position, but you would have been up if you just stayed in. So for any algo traders there. Um, have a couple break even strategies. There's nothing wrong with that. Definitely test your strategies. And I go over how to test portfolios um, uh, with my community, but test your portfolios and see if your break even strategy reduces your max drawdown or increases your return to drawdown. If it does, then, then it's a great strategy to add to your portfolio. Okay. If you want to learn more about um, how do you stretch and how to build strategies with that, I have an, a separate video that will be up here that you can watch. Um, it's a full uh, class on how do you stretch in to um, find strategies for you automatically and test them to make sure that they are robust. So net net break even code is pretty easy to add. You want to add it. Uh, you want to enable it once you're up a certain amount of position to protect your downside and it could improve your portfolio as well. I showed you guys how to uh, do the code. It's, you know, simple four lines to do it. And um, it, I'm going to be trying to build some more strategies with it. I want to see if it helps improve my portfolio. And we'll definitely um, at least reduce the volatility of your strategies that have it because they're able to, to break even. So let me know in the comments below if you use break even, if you're going to use this code that I showed you guys, um, or if you don't use it and, and why, I'd, I'd love to know. Uh, but I appreciate all of you. Have a good week. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.